Jeff and owner of Terrace Restaurant here. Uh, as you see, yesterday we uh, poached the whole salmon. And today, now, after they've cooled down overnight, here we have the whole poached salmon. As you see, the um, uh, aluminum foil underneath is giving this stability so it stands up. So now what we have to do is we have to sit there and take the skin off, clean it up, and then we're going to decorate it so that when it's out on the buffet, it not only tastes good, it looks appealing. So first thing we want to do is we want to take our knife and we want to slit down behind the head, break, just breaking the skin on both sides. Because what we're going to do is this is where we're going to want to keep the head intact, but we want all the skin off. Now, we go down here to the tail and do the same thing. Make a score down it, not going deep, because all you want to do is uh, make it so that you can pull the skin off. Now, very gently go in here, get, lift the skin up, and start peeling it away. And use your knife because you're going to tear off, clean up this middle portion here. And all you do is you want to just peel it back. Sometimes you can get a piece that starts and you can really get going on it. And sometimes it's not. Here we go. You want to take this fin out. Now you see where we made our cut. At first, the skin stops peeling start peeling it back and that leaves that head nice and exposed. Try to get underneath all of here and get all of that that you can. There's also fins back here that you don't want in so you want to get them out as well. There's another fin here. We want to get the bones and everything out. Now we've got the skin all completely off. Take a look because we're going to take out this center cavity and we're going to take out all of the fat there. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take our knife Technical difficulties. <laughs> I think you can edit those parts out. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna edit this shit out. Just keep it going. Marshall will edit all this shit out. Did he do it on his computer? On ours. Let's put in there. I said, "Oh, make sure you find the health part. It's gonna be like." <laughs> okay, here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our knife and gently get in here. This is just some fatty partial, partials plus some bone that we don't want in there. And so we're just gonna get that out. Just work it out, trying not to disturb the actual flesh. 
and then basically you're going to rub your knife very carefully over it and you're only trying to get away the fat. We only do this because of the fact that the brown, the brown color just does not look appealing. It is edible. It is eaten all the time when you have a fillet of salmon, so there's no problem with it. It's just when we decorate it as a whole, it doesn't look eye appealing, and it's the part that's actually showing to the guests. So we're going to do this on front and back. Then what we're going to do is clean up the fish, and then we're going to start decorating it. Because what it's about is just putting on some nice things so that the color of the salmon shows up really nice and it looks really eye appealing. Because as we all know, if something looks really good, we're more apt to want to eat it. Shouldn't be no problem because this fat just will come off. It's a separate layer from the actual flesh. Okay. Now we also want to get all of this out of the center here. It's fatty. It's not that great. People don't want to see it. And like I said, there's bones up here. Try to get them out. And we will cover all of this area up, so don't worry about it. You'll see when we finish up that this will not be showing. So basically we're going to do the whole back side as well. It may not be seen as much, but it is seen. So we definitely want to make sure it's not all brown and So there we go. Now all we want to do is try to smooth the skin out nice, the flesh out as nice as possible, make a nice surface, rub the way that the, the, the surface of the meat goes. Now what we're going to do is we have here some gelatin, non-flavored, simple gelatin. You need it to where it is still pourable and, and it will set up on the fish as well once it gets cool. So basically what we're doing is we're going to cover this with some, give it a nice sheen. So it looks real good. Making sure that we save a little bit because we have to dip the different things we're going to put on here. Now, for decorating we have leeks, we have some peppers, we have some radishes, you can basically use and do whatever, whatever you want. Uh, I like making flowers on it. Dip it in the gelatin, put it onto the fish, see how it adheres. You just have to be creative in this, show your style. Okay, now, got some nice 
round, we cut them out. We'll put them on. Make them look like we've got some flowers. Then we're going to take some petals made of peppers. See how the gelatin allows it to adhere. We have radishes. On there, we're going to make some leaves out of some leeks. Again, you can make this out of anything you want. Your design is up to you. All it is is that you want to make this salmon eye-catching so that when people stop, they go, oh my God, what a beautiful piece. It's sort of a show piece that really not many people are doing anymore. These. Some people think it's old school. Well, I tend to think, let's give a show on a special buffet. There we go. Now the final step is to take and decorate the top so it's not showing anymore all these open cavities. So what we have here is we have some mayonnaise that's been mixed with the gelatin so that it will harden up. And what we're going to do is we're going to sit here and go right along the top and make a ridge. Now we're going to look at the front of the fish. We see that this area here needs a little bit of touch up. There we go. The next thing to do is hopefully get it onto a platter where it won't all fall apart. So, very carefully. There we go. Old poached salmon ready for Easter Sunday. Hope y'all enjoyed that. It was fun.